If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today we got plenty of stuff to go over. We have a banger day for the most part. We have title update. Rivals part two, which means some more free players and we got the 50 now the 50 right now is gonna be the reveal We'll see the reveal of some of the players. We'll see some stats, but for the most part Everything will be in game later today probably around like three ish two ish depending on when they actually end up releasing it But guys super excited rivals part two is gonna be pretty awesome Because rivals part two like I said is gonna be a solo sequence to grind out gonna give us some free players and honestly I really do think that this is going to be a great day with the 50 because that last week was our first day of it. There's going to be another week of it. So last week had some good players. I really hope we get some more better players. But the only thing that's going to be a little weird is I wonder how many we're going to actually get today. Because obviously we did get like eight last week. Probably not going to get that many on a weekly basis. Well, we could, but probably not. I just really want to see how this goes about. How they end up continuing this. Is it going to be just great mud players? Are they going to bring out some new legends for this? Because we obviously did get Reggie Bush. But regardless of that, guys... Let's get into this. Go down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And for the Poodle Squad today, all you guys gotta do is like the video. Turn on that noti bell, boys. Come join the family. And of course, comment down below Poodle Squad. For today's shout out, we got JBB Minty. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much for showing support. And guys, also, if you need any coins, pick up some 50 players. Pick up anything in Madden. Head on over to Mutt Reserve down below in the description. Coins are discounted. So is training. And you can buy 50 players directly on there. So make sure to take advantage, guys. And as always, use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. Take advantage. But guys, let's get into this video and check everything out. So we have the Rivals 2 officially in-game, as you guys can see here. I'm going to head on over to the Solos. You do get a new free player. Now, initially, I was kind of scared that it was going to end up being just getting another 85, like a Jalen Smith or a Ben Roethlisberger. And that would really suck, because honestly, those players weren't that great to begin with besides Jalen Smith. And I know no one wants that at this point in the game. But if you guys come down to Milestones, you do see that you get 87 overall at Geno Atkins, which is honestly pretty solid. I mean, it's nothing special. But again, no one likes buying defensive tackles, and they especially don't like buying defensive tackle twos. So you pick up Geno Atkins, you get him for free, you put him at defensive tackle two, maybe toss a camera saw on him. Honestly, not a horrible idea. It's not going to take too long again. You have to get these stars, so make sure to go ahead and just end up playing and getting through it. 180 stars shouldn't take you too long again. I never played these because personally, by the time I already opened my packs and stuff, I really didn't need anything from it. But again, if you're a no money spend team, there's a no money spend team's best friend right here. Go ahead, play the solo, get this done. We also did get the NFL 100 free player reveal as well. We do have a title update coming today. So as far as this goes, guys, just you also want to play through. Make sure you're getting your completion token as well because you are able to go ahead and get that and throw that into the set for the end of the year rivals completion, whatever we end up getting for that. Seems kind of like this is going to be like a replacement for like a journey slash gauntlet. So make sure you're getting that done so you can get your player later in the year. But enough on that front. Rivals 2, just that's the one thing in game say. Make sure you're playing the 50 solos. Remember, those do expire weekly, so the new one should have, should be releasing around like 2-ish. Unless they just expired. Now, if you haven't done them yet, make sure you get them done. You have them so 2. Like I said, if they haven't expired, if they did, you gotta catch up on next week. This is how you do end up getting the free, the 50 standout player later on. Again, a few weeks, 6 weeks, however long it ends up being. Now, that's enough of that, guys. Let's head on over to the screenshots of the 50 players. But before we do, guys, remember there's a title update coming today. Uh... I believe the patch notes are going to be out about 11 a.m. So right as you see this video, the patch notes should be out. Go check uh, EA Gridiron notes and go check that out. It's going to be some franchise updates, ultimate team updates. I do believe they pushed back the bench, uh, the bench press AP thing back. I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Read through the notes. See what they changed in the ultimate team. I was going to throw into this video, but it drops at 11 a little bit later. And for the most part, it's it's cool. But again, it's something. It's not. It shouldn't be game changing for the most part. I would just go check it out on your own. If you're a franchise guy or anything else, go ahead and check that out. Let's head over to the 50 players and check out those screenshots. So first we have Geno Atkins, 87 overall. Let me show you the stats here. 73 speed, 79 excel, 85 strength, 84 tackle, 88 play rec, 85 block shed, and 87 power move. Okay, so he's not bad actually. If you go ahead and you power him up and chem him up, he'll have the power move threshold of 90, which does mean he can go ahead and be one of the like elite pass rushers per se and have a good block shed. So he's going to be a decent dual threat pass and run stuffer. So honestly, not a bad card at all. I mean, it's not it's something special, but for a free card, I really can't knock it. You can go ahead and just toss him as your defensive tackle too. People are tired and in like a bear package where you need a bunch of big guys on the line to stop a run. I see that as the best time to actually go ahead and use these guys. But in my opinion, not horrible. I wish it was like an 89 overall or an 88 overall would have been a little bit more fitting. But 87, you know, in a depth position does get the job done for the most part. 
like I said, had he been a non-depth position, like a right end or a left end, I would really want him to be an 89 so we can all use him. But considering he's a depth position, like cornerback and stuff, you can sometimes take a little bit lower. Like the Ramsey, 90 overall. May not be a 1 or a 2, but he can be a 3, so I can't knock it. But let's get to the 50 players. First, we got Ryan Shazier. Sh Shaz is back, guys. Super hype. Tribute to Shaz, as per usual. They've had him for the last three years. It would have felt weird without him again. It did feel weird. I was used to having my Ryan Shazier user linebacker for the last two years. I was not used to not having him this year. Great stats, though, as you guys see. 91 overall, 88 speed, 90 acceleration, 79 strength, 88 tackle, 88 play rec, 81 block shed, 83 hit power, and 86 zone. Nothing more than a Shazier, a Shazier card right there, guys. Now, the only thing with him that kind of sucks is that his zone coverage is really good. So, although you want to user him, you kind of want to leave him alone. Now, this year is more of a year of usering safeties in the box, more so than even a linebacker anymore because of how linebacker change of direction is. Of course, you have to see his change of direction when they do drop at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So, again, I'll check it out then. But for the time being, guys, your best case scenario, honestly, might be power him up, get him to an 87 zone, put lockdown on him, get him to a 90 zone coverage, and then leave him. Let him play, let him play his game. Go ahead, let, let, let him play a zone, let him play pass coverage, let him do what he has to do. Honestly, that might be the best route to go just because of how good that zone is. And if you use him, you're wasting that zone. And again, maybe you're better off using someone like Simmons with a higher speed, higher hit power, and then go, oh, yeah. And then go ahead and just let Shazier play a zone. Again, you can still use him, but you are kind of wasting that zone. But then again, his block shit isn't too great. So it's kind of an iffy situation there, although I still think the card is super, super great. It's, it's nice to see Shazier. Now, the only issue with powering him up is that his power-up's going to be crazy expensive. These 50 players have had crazy expensive power-ups. It really sucks, and it's kind of limiting what you can do with some of them. But again, still interesting nonetheless. Moving on to the next one. Taylor Mays has returned. 91 overall strong safety. I saw someone comment yesterday that they were going to rock with either Micah Hyde or Brian Dawkins for now until they drop Taylor Mays. Well, there you go. There you go, man. In under 24 hours, you got your wish. I hope you didn't power up uh, Micah Hyde or Taylor or Brian Dawkins ready because you would have lost some coins here. 90 speed. So when you really look at it, guys, he's going to be a god. He's, he's the meta, right? He's going to be able to get 91 speed, 91 excel, 93 tackle, 88 play rec, 91 pursuit, 80 man coverage, 88 zone coverage, and 93 hit power, power, uh, powered up. Now, the thing about him is that his zone chemed up also gets to over 90. So he's going to have the zone threshold, going to have the hit power, 93 hit power is crazy, going to have the play recognition threshold over 90, going to have a man coverage over 80, going to have a 91 speed. The card all around is going to be a monster. The only thing that's going to be the issue again is do you use your hammer or do you leave him alone now? If you leave him alone, he's going to be a monster. But if you use him, you're going to have a monster as well. But with that zone, hit power, and speed, maybe you leave him alone. And again, you use a guy like Simmons, and you let Maze do his damage. But he's going to be a monster, guys. And Taylor Maze is always the meta. When we get Maze, he's fast. He's like six foot three. He's tall. He can hit and he can play zone. He's going to be the meta. And honestly, if we keep, if we get, since we got a card so early in him, we know we'll get another one probably, which means he's probably going to be a good card for most of the year, which is exciting. Because last year, we know we got that golden ticket one. Or we get, we get like a late in the year one, like an LTD or something. And it's just never like all year to be able to use him and for the last thing i do have vincent jackson v jacks is back in madden that speed does make him usable which excites me the 92 jumping of course the 88 catching 90 catching traffic 90 spec 88 short running 86 medium route running 88 deep route running now i wish the route running was a little bit better on the medium but powered up and chemed up he will get the deep route deep route running threshold he will get the spec catch threshold of course 90 speeds super solid for vincent jackson card he's like six foot four which of course is crazy now he's gonna fall short of the short route running by one the medium by three now that's gonna be the issue for this card here unless you want to use him as a main like jump ball deep receiver now i mean 90 speed and the go deep is gonna get it done and of course the catching stats i wish that was a little bit higher so maybe the move on him may be going I want to say play fake, but then again, then you don't get the deep right running threshold. It's going to be tough. You probably got to go to go deep on him and just hope that the medium and short is good enough for you. But either way, this card's going to be a monster regardless of how you use him. He's going to be a deep threat. He's going to be a jump ball guy, red zone guy. He's going to be able to do it all pretty much because that's the difference. They didn't give him an 86 or an 87 speed. They gave him a 90 powered up, which is going to make him a very usable deep threat receiver that can catch and just do about everything. And I'm pretty sure he's good after the catch too, like trucking over people and being a little bit more powerful than other uh, receivers per se. But that is about it for that, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do need coins to pick up for some of these new NFL 50 players that will be coming out today, head over to Mutt Reserve down below in the description. You're going to want these cards, guys. You need Taylor Mays. You need Shazier. Vincent Jackson isn't maybe a need, but he's definitely a want. Pick up some coins. They will be selling these players on there directly as well. If you guys don't want to pick up coins, you can buy the players, which is a bit safer. Uh, and use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. And don't forget, everything is discounted right now, so make sure to take advantage. And if you want to have a chance to be shouted out in today's later Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, turn on that noti bell and be subscribed as well. And if you haven't, despite all that, subscribe regardless, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace.